all right y'all back to the video and this is very different from regular content but as you can see from the title we're going to be talking about um you know pretty much how to work in fast food how to manage it your first day things like that so i have the video broken down into like three main sections based on what you need so if you're starting from the beginning beginning i have getting the job then i have the first day of work and then i have after a while like after a month and like some little tips so yeah let's get started So the first thing for getting the job, what you want to do is you want to pick a good location. So what I mean by locations, I mean obviously like how far away it is from your house. Like is it within walking, driving distance? Can you drive? Do you have a reliable ride? Um, also, like is it busy at that location? Like for example, like you know probably for your first job, you want to be working somewhere where it's right off a major highway and it's very busy every day, 24-7 busy. Like you probably won't want to work there because it's going to be too stressful for you to handle. So you probably want to pick somewhere that's close that's not too busy probably like one that's like not off a major highway or one that's kind of like you know in a little corner somewhere you don't want to pick one that's like dead dead because it's like it'll get very boring very fast you have to sit in a place for a certain amount of hours and there's like nothing to do and you have to be around people that you might not like so yeah and also when you're picking a place to work uh pay is very important um for me personally i get paid more than minimum wage and I know some people don't want to be working for $7.25 an hour. And I definitely would not be working at my job if I only make $7.25. But yeah, so when you're looking for a job, consider pay. Um, generally where it's located at, how busy it is, and all that, right? So apply in person. Like, apply in person if it's possible. Like, you want to show up and be like, hey, I want to work here. Do y'all have applications? And, you know scope the place out while you're there kind of see like like i said is it busy kind of see like do the place look clean stuff like that because that's going to be important later um and also you can get referred by somebody if you know somebody there um you won't really need this especially because a lot of fast food places right now are in desperate need of workers but if you want to help somebody out and give them like a bonus because for me at least we get like 500 dollars bonus if we refer somebody and they work there for more than two months now with that being said do not get referred by somebody if you know you're not reliable if you know that you're not committed if you know that you're not going to be at this job for a long time if it's just like a little you know i need a hundred dollars real quick like if it's one of them then don't because you won't have that person looking like a fool when you work for only two weeks and you quit you want that person look like a fool when you late every day you know what i'm saying so only get referred if you know for a fact that you're going to be committed um and when you're applying fill out your application yourself and be realistic like if you know that you're not a morning person do not be putting that on there you want to work from 6 a.m to 10 p.m like no do not do that be realistic if you have to go to school and stuff like most people watch this video probably do then um let's say for example you get out of school and you get home at like 4 30. to me i get out of school at like 4 40 4 40 something like that and i be at work by five like i'm just like that i'm able to do that but everybody can't do that because you probably have to drive a certain distance but me my place i work is not far at all like it takes me less than five minutes to get to work so yeah consider that uh when you putting down your hours and then from my experience they really don't honor this much i mean they pretty much have when i first started working they would not let me work closed because i put on there five to close and then like uh open to close on weekends which no i would not want to work mornings now but yeah, um, they will not be letting you work open to close because that's like too many hours and no ma'am. So yeah, be realistic with it. Um, like I said, go before you apply and like scope the place out and maybe go in different times of the day if you can, if you're able and just see how busy it is during the day and whatnot. But yeah, y'all. All right, and when you go to like your interview, your orientation, have your social security card and have like all that good stuff because they're gonna need that have your id if you have it a driver's license i think will work just have anything and your birth certificate that can identify you right and then for me i don't really i didn't get an interview but like the first day i worked they called that the orientation but yeah when they ask you like what day can you work just pretty uh when can you start if you know you don't have like a pair of work pants or a pair of work shoes non-slip shoes so don't be like i can start today 
because no you don't have what you need to start so i'd recommend starting like the next week like the beginning of the next week or whatever and once they say you have the job go buy you a pair of non-slip shoes like a black undershirt depending on the colors of the restaurant undershirt if it's gonna be cold and you're gonna have to be working drive through and stuff like that and you might not want to be cold or whatever and then a pair of non-slip shoes and then a pair of work pants or whatever color so whatever color you have to wear we have to wear black so i'll have a pair of black work shoes black pants black sweatshirt and like a grayish shirt and when on your first day they'll give you like your uh like your work shirt they'll give you like the company shirt they'll give you a name tag and it should be free mine was free i feel like it should be free but it may not be right and also you want to get you a pair of gel insoles because your feet may start to hurt after a while you just walking on that hard floor and then the non slip shoes have like this much padding in it so i suggest um gel insoles and then you know you go on your first day make sure you're on time and then yeah so then i have the section for the first day on your first day you'll most likely be set down on the computer because for me for my first day and my first couple days i was doing what they call training pretty much they put pretty much you have to go through a whole like 12 hours worth of videos i think and pretty much for like the first week you'll just sit there and get paid to watch videos for the first week um I would come in from like, yeah, so I'll come in from like 5 to 8.30, like 3 hours, 30 minutes, and just sit there and watch videos. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much considered like our training. And then we also got like what we call, I guess, in-person training. And all that was was somebody just, hey, so yeah, the fries are in here, uh, apple pies are over here. Yeah, and that's it. Like, and I understand they still had to go and do their job while like training me. So that's probably why I got like lackluster training. But like, they should show you how to navigate things. But to be honest, in my experience, I learned by just watching and paying attention to how they did it. Like I learned how to take orders by just like listening to them in the headset. Like they'd be like, hey, welcome to Hardee's. Like, and that's what I started saying. Hey, welcome to Hardee's. Order when you're ready, small, medium, or large. Like that's how I learned, right? Um, you, you're gonna pick up your own ways on how to do stuff as you go. But yeah, that's pretty much what you need to do. It's just observe and watch. Um, on your first week or two, don't try to be in the front line. Don't try to be doing everything. Don't try to be, you know, being the one trying to bag orders. Don't try to be the one who's doing it all because you don't know really nothing about nothing. Like, help where you can. Like, stock stuff, drop fries, drop pies, um, you know, don't be trying to like take orders and stuff when you don't know what you're doing don't be trying to put stuff in a bag when you don't know what what is yet like just help out where you can do ice like stuff like that just help out where you can honestly don't be scared to ask for help like they're there to help you like don't be scared to be like hey i'm not too sure how to do this how do i do this ask them for help like that's what they're there for like your managers and the people who have been there probably veterans who have been working there like ask for help if you really feel like you need it because the last thing you want is for you to do something wrong and you get hurt somebody else get hurt or a customer come in complaining like that's what we do not want so by any means just ask questions and when it's your first week or two i shouldn't have to say this but do not be trying to take days off like that's where i messed up at like my first month i was there like i took several days off because i was sick like bro it was like the third day i worked there i had to go home because i threw up now that was an excuse but then i didn't come the next day like girl do not just be taking days off just take days off like i know you may not want to go to work one day but do not be taking days off just take days off especially if it's your first week and for the last one just learn as much as you can get used to interacting with co-workers get used to interacting with customers because that's going to be your whole entire job is customer service um just try to honestly do your best to use to it so that's pretty much all i have for the first day slash first week um and then after a while you kind of get into the group of things maybe after a month or two here are just some tips that i have um don't do the bare minimum do your part like don't be that person where everybody has to come up and clean up after you like do your part like don't sit here if you know you have to do bathrooms and ice don't sit here in half-ass bathrooms and barely fill up the ice because no that don't make no sense obviously sometimes you do have to do a little bit much but honestly just try your best to pitch in and do your part 
and start eating good good before you go to work when i say good good i mean if you know you can eat like that eat you like three burgers and two medium fries like eat you good good because the last thing you want is to be at work and be hungry and have all this food around you because you're gonna be tempted to like oh let me make myself a large fry let me, let me sneak myself a burger like and that's what not what we need to be doing um Go on the bathroom when it's your break and when it's slow. And also, when it's slow, get as much done as possible. We only have like one order every 20 minutes. If you need to stock, if you need to do ice, if you need to um make cinnamon rolls, whatever you need to do. Well, for me, it's what we have to do at my job. If you have to make ice cream cups, whatever you have to do, just go ahead and do it. If you have to clean, go ahead and do it. I would recommend cleaning the lobby if you have to clean the lobby or the bathroom until after the lobby's closed. I would recommend doing fry station after the lobby's until after the lobby's closed and there's barely any more people. But yeah, y'all, so make sure when it's slow, you're doing everything you can to make sure that you get out of there on time if you're closing because that's what you want to do or that you get to leave on time because there are certain tasks you have to do before you leave. Honestly, in my opinion, this is just what I think out of my experiences. Don't make friends unless they're just going to be the at work friends who you talk to on the side and don't really be too invested in their life and definitely do not date nobody there. And that's just it. And also, don't expect the adults to treat you like a child. Like, because at my job, you'd be at least, at least 16 to work there. So the adults, they will cuss in front of you. They will talk about certain topics. But if it makes you uncomfortable, feel free to tell your boss or whatever. But these adults, they will not treat you like a child. Like, they will talk to you like anybody else. And I feel like, honestly, that's respect. Um, but yeah, always reference a receipt. Never be that girl who's like, oh yeah, I remember what they had. They had um, a small cheeseburger and a large fry. When no, they didn't. They had like a bacon cheeseburger and a medium fry. Like, you know what I mean? Don't be that girl. Don't try to show off. Always reference the receipt or the little board where it shows, shows the order put things back clean up after yourself there's nothing more i hate than having to go mop the lobby and the mop bucket i was going to use is filled with disgusting water and the mop is in there and i have to dump it out like just clean up after yourself it literally takes five seconds take your time when you count your money because i be struggling sometimes but take your time count the change and make sure that you give people correct change and make sure that you um type in how much money they gave you exactly or you press it on the thing because if you mess it up you gotta take your phone out and do it on the calculator and if you do it wrong your register gonna be short and they gonna think you were stealing money and like i said before be honest if you ring up something wrong gave somebody back the wrong change tell your manager and they'll help you fix that somebody want a refund wait till your manager say so and give them a refund because you don't want your register to be short make sure the orders be correct even if you gotta yell at the cook and be like hey nigga like they didn't want no tomatoes on that shit why the fuck you putting tomatoes on it don't be that aggressive but honest but obviously bruh why i do that but obviously bruh like make sure that it's right because you gonna be the one getting yelled at if you the order not right you gonna be the one looking like a clown when that nigga come in there why my sandwich uh 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 ain't got tomatoes on it like you know what i'm saying so make sure it's right by any means necessary try to be positive i know after a while like it can feel degrading working in fast food people treating you like shit but try to be positive you don't gotta smile you ain't gotta laugh everybody joke but just try to be positive because if it's a negative work environment you're not gonna want to come there period um if you close, like I said, make sure you get all your stuff done early so you can leave on time. And the last one, which I feel like is very, very important, put your foot down um, with, when it comes to your boss and managers. Like, don't be the girl that's always going to cover somebody's shift. Don't be the girl that's, or boy, I mean, don't be the girl or boy. Don't be the person, there we go, that's the proper terminology. Don't be the person that's too nice, that's always going to cover somebody's shift, that's always going to stay late if they need to, because they'll take advantage of that like your job really don't care about you that much to be honest like you're just there to work and that's it and they will take advantage of you if you show that when they when it's supposed to be your day off or your days off and they ask you hey can you come and we need you no because that is not your problem honestly and it may make some people not like you because like they wanted a day off but then you wasn't going to come in on your day off so they could have a day off see what i'm saying like no tell them no tell them no and if you need to request something somebody's making you uncomfortable let them know put your foot down 
and say what needs to be said but don't be worried about it obviously because you're gonna get you you're gonna lose your job but honestly bro like me i'm working in a place so understaffed like it would take a lot for her to fire me because she needs me but anyway so yeah y'all that's pretty much the whole video i know it was long as hell i was trying to make it so detailed for y'all but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later